hey guys welcome back to my channel i am tk beauty and in today's video we are doing a makeup tutorial with the danessa myricks light work freedom palette i had to jump on the bandwagon and get this palette the colors are absolutely stunning before we jump into the video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead click that subscribe button click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time i upload a video and let's just jump right on into this video y'all this is the packaging and y'all this palette is so versatile you could do a lot of different things with it it came with this pouch and uh, this is the actual eyeshadow palette here. Now this can, you can pull this out. This is actually a mirror, but look how gorgeous these shades are. They are stunning. They are absolutely gorgeous. So of course, today I'm trying to do a beautiful fall look. So I think we're gonna be using this palette over here. But the beauty of this is that you can take these all out. Let me show you guys really quickly. So you can take these out and you can actually take the shadows out of here as well and, and put them wherever you like and stack them on top of each other. If you want to travel with them, you can take one if you would like. And that mirror that I showed you guys, that was on the front and there you go you can take all of the eyeshadow palettes with you and you can put them all in this pouch so this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette like I knew when I saw this palette I knew I had to have it I've already done my base I have on everything except for highlighter and my lip and my eyes the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks color fix in the shade blackout so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and place this on my lid I feel like with this, you definitely have to blend this out really, really quickly. I don't think I'm blending this out fast enough because it, it dries down really quick. But I just need a little bit of a base on my eye. We're gonna be using this palette today out of the entire palette. We're gonna start with taking that brown and popping that in my crease. This blends out really, really pretty. This is so pigmented. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these shades because I'm not really sure which one I want to have on my lid. So I'm gonna swatch a couple so you guys can see just how gorgeous these shades are. These are absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like I am so torn on what to use. Ugh, I think I'm using that one. <laughs> Look how beautiful these colors are. I was thinking of doing this one because I think this one is really, really pretty. To me, that one screams fall, which is this shade right here. So I think I'm going to take that one. I'm going to use my finger and go on top. just like one of these like a brown or something in your crease pop one of these on your lid and you are good to go or you can get real creative with this look at my eyes I'm gonna go back in with that brown a little bit. I 
I'm gonna take just a little bit of my Patrick Ty palette. I'm gonna take that black from in here and go underneath my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna take this white shade that's really a gold shade and put that in my inner tear duct. Y'all, this is such a beautiful palette. Like, I am done with my eyes. I don't feel like I need anything else on my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be using the extra Wispy Angel Spiky Cluster Doll Lashes. These are from Ioni. I'm gonna put these on and I will come back and we're gonna do our highlighter and uh, we're gonna do our lip. Okay guys, I am back. I got my lashes on. I don't know, they are definitely wispy. I feel like this one is a little bit more wispy than this one. I don't know, that's just how it's looking to me, but I think they're, I think they're very pretty. I put on some mascara, um, that was it. I'm getting ready to go in with this e.l.f. black liner underneath my lower lash line, so let's do that now. Okay, I'm gonna take a like a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna go in with my Becca Cosmetics Chocolate Jeweled Highlighter. This is one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. Actually, what I should have did was use one of these as a highlighter. I'm going to take just a little bit of this because I, I, I wanted to use one of these palettes as a highlighter so I'm gonna go in with this palette and I'm gonna take this white shade here and just put that on top of where I just put that highlighter Blend out this highlighter just a little. I mentioned in one of my blogs that I was gonna be ordering the lip bars command commando and I ordered it and she came and we're gonna be using her today. So I'm getting ready to wipe this lip oil that I have off just a little bit of it. We're gonna be going in with my Morphe lip liner and trendsetter. And then I'm gonna be topping it off with my Huda Beauty lip gloss. I believe this is in Foxy. Y'all, I love this gloss. I don't know, y'all. I was getting ready to say, should we do this lip or should we do like a burgundy since this is like for fall? Maybe we'll do a burgundy. We'll do the lip bars commando another time. But I'm kind of feeling like a burgundy on my lips. So let's do that. Oh, you know what would be pretty? The Savage from the lip bar. I think I'm gonna go in and line my lips just a little bit with Trendsetter. Did y'all know MAC came out with some new lip liners? I definitely want to get my hands on at least one of them because I think they're so pretty. Some of them. It's like two that I really was interested in, but I think I'm only going to get one. My applicator did break for this one, so sad about that, but we're still going to go in with Savage from the lip bar. Such a beautiful color for fall. If y'all don't have none of the lip bar stuff, y'all sleeping on the lip bar, they have some really great products. I haven't even tried all that they have, but lip products, yes. I do wanna try some of their concealers and stuff, powders. I 
I'm gonna let that dry down and while that's drying down I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting spray um, because I am gonna be filming a couple of videos tonight so I do want my makeup to kind of last so okay guys so this is the finished eyeshadow look let me know what you guys think about the look let's talk a little bit about this eyeshadow palette I'm absolutely in love with this palette I'm glad that I bit the bullet and I got this palette I know it is a limited edition palette but honey you cannot go wrong with this palette Danessa Myricks she does it every time and for me she definitely did it with this palette with these colors with the pigmentation with the fact that you can take one palette with you or you can take them all with you if you want to travel you have a mirror like if you want to leave it in this big case you can if you want to move this color to over in this palette or this one over there you can kind of customize it the way that you want and of course you can use these shadows for more than just your eyes you can use them as highlighters you can use them probably as like a blush topper or something so I mean this is a very versatile and very customizable palette and I love this I'm so glad that I spent my money and got this palette and I feel like this is so easy to use if you're like a beginner in makeup or if you're somebody like me you just really want a one and done kind of palette all you need like I said is like a brown or something in your crease take one of these colors put it on your finger or put it on a brush and swipe and baby you are good to go and that's what i really love about this palette i feel like i will use every color in here because they are absolutely stunning so this is not going to be the end for me with this palette i will probably be using this in some makeup tutorials and stuff probably just doing my eyes this is definitely um a winner for me so i'm happy to have this eyeshadow palette so again this is the finished look let me know what you guys think about this look in the comment tell me about the the, the eyes, the lip, what you guys think about the lip. I love this lip. I love the lip bar, y'all. I absolutely love the look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would like to see me do more like eyeshadow looks, typically do like a full face of like new products, but you know, I, I really enjoy just doing the eyes today and, and having my base done because I feel like the video, you know, goes quicker that way. But let me know if you guys want to see more makeup tutorial tutorials like this. Of course, I will be doing still full face, but I think just to change it up a little bit, I'm going to be just kind of just doing, you know, maybe a product here, a product there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.